taxes for five minutes. Thank you very much. Um, Y'all, in, in response to the privacy concerns, you have implemented the pat-down search as well as the secondary pat-down search for the anomalies. And the Ninth Court of Appeals has allowed you all to do administrative searches at airports and held that the pat-downs are legal. I think their words were limited in its, in its intrusiveness as it is consistent with uh, satisfactory of the administrative need that justifies it. So limited in the intrusiveness, I think, is kind of key there. Uh, but take a look at some of these slides we have got up here. I am concerned that these, these are not even the secondary pat-downs. These are the primary pat-downs. Now, this is a child, another child. There are people who would go to jail for ch touching a child like that. Do you really think these are the least intrusive means you can come up with to ensure security? Um, sir, the, uh, Mr. Kane and I actually sit every morning in an intelligence brief where we learn the, um, what is coming at us from our attackers. And what is evident to us is that the, uh, those that wish to do us harm are very willing to um, use techniques which uh, uh, go against our social norms and, um, and try to use things that will can, uh, use our process against us. And that's, uh, that was proven out actually in uh, uh, Flight 253 with the placement of a, a bomb that used all nonmetallic components. And so we have done extensive testing in what uh, techniques we can use in order to um, uh, be able to detect items like that using both process and technology um, so that we can uh, mitigate that threat while also being as conscious as possible about uh, the passengers' experiences that are coming through as well as allowing passengers to uh, expeditiously get to the And then you also indicated in your testimony that only a small percentage of passengers have uh, undergone a secondary screening. I have had the misfortune of being one of those passengers, and I was taken into a private room, not offered the opportunity to stay in public or have anyone accompany me, and was thoroughly searched. I was not offered the opportunity to, to rescan in the event I would moved. The uh, TSA agent indicated you probably moved. That is why there were the anomalies. A rescan would have avoided that. Wouldn't that have been a less intrusive option is to offer me a rescan when they had, I think there were five anomalies detected on my body? Sir, without getting too much into the uh, sensitive security part of when we do which type of uh, screening, uh, when we do have uh, an anomaly in a sensitive area, uh, we do want to make sure that we properly um, uh, screen that area using a pat-down. Uh, any passenger is uh, authorized to have a, 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 a companion in that private screening room with them, um, and uh, we, we use whatever technique we can. I mean, I would have rather have had this happen in the sunshine is the best disinfectant. I'd, despite as embarrassing as it was, I would preferred to have stand out there and let the rest of the people at the airport see what I was subjected to. Let me move on. I am concerned also about the safety of your hardworking TS, uh, TSA officers. Uh, why do none of the officers that work around these uh, X-ray machines in particular not wear, this, wear the same safety badges that anybody who works at a hospital is required to wear? This seems like a low-cost way to ensure the safety of the people working for you. Uh, Congressman, these are uh, different, and, and they are very, very low levels of radiation used by these machines, um, and, and they are well within public use limits. And there, there are national standards for when you would implement a dosimeter type of program that you are referring to, and, and we are well, well below any of those levels uh, that would cause us to look at uh, putting the radiation badges on the workers. And, and, I get, and I can understand why you are also not willing to open up the entire software and process to peer review, but would you be willing to allow independent agencies to, uh, or it, independent, the scientific community to test the amount of radiation that these machines uh, emit? Sir, and we, we have done a number of independent tests and we have ongoing independent tests for all of these machines in the airports. Uh, John Hopkins did the study on the backscatter uh, advanced imaging technology as an independent body. Uh, the Army's Public Health Command comes into airports. They have, they have looked at uh, they look at our radiating machines in airports. 
um, and they use uh, test and survey methods, including dosimeters in some cases, and they have done extensive independent testing of the machines and, and clearly and consistently show very, very low levels of radiation. I see my time has expired. I will wait around for the next round of questions.